so in my last video I created this piece and showed you the process on how to make a deconstructed bloom right now it was a fail because as you can see they're they're full of cracks i'm gonna give you a, a little bit of a close-up later on but um with this piece and i've got this piece as well i've got two little ones as well ones uh 30 by 30 and the other ones i think uh can't remember what it is but it's, sh it's smaller than 12 by 16 or is it 12 by 16 but yeah i'll i'll post that on another video i'll still show you how i did it but i'll tell you what not to do okay look so my assumption i've been reading through why these pieces have cracked um because it's it's the first time that's happened to me so i'm i'm super heartbroken um and i ruined four pieces but to be honest i was actually experimenting on a new base which i haven't used before so a little tip when you're experimenting start small if if possible start small and start on one piece and not four right i think i got a little bit too excited when when i saw how awesome how beautiful how yummy the colors are in this piece i was like okay i'm gonna do it for for this one and i'm gonna do it for two little ones as well so yeah i didn't anticipate that it was gonna fail um okay so i'll show you what i've used right so this is this is the base that i've used it's i've it's also my first time using a lotion right so it says here because it's a little bit too thick for the base um with my past bases i normally thin them with uh a mix out which i'll show you later on but i was like okay let's try this try this one but just thin it with water and it says here thinning is not necessary but you know i did it if required thin thin with up to 10 percent water so that's what i did thinned it with 10 percent water now what i read was um the one of the reasons of cracking is the base dries faster than the other colors that's why you know the water is um, evaporating quicker than the others and there's also a factor on uh there's also a factor on the temperature um it was a little bit colder here in victoria australia i mean australia by the way the day i made these pieces and i think i left the window open but i have a feeling aside from that um, it, it probably contributed to the fail but i think it was how i mixed the or thinned the base the base paint right so at first the cracks were just on the sides so i was like okay i think i can do with that um and then i saw a few cracks in the middle um i think for this one the first few cracks that i saw were were these ones right the white areas so i was like maybe i can fill it up with a, a gold uh gold paint or whatever gold or orange i've used in here once it's perfectly dry which i normally do anyway with my past pieces but uh <laughs> look it turned into like an like a, a mosaic <laughs> oh no i'm so heartbroken so heartbroken look at that it's unsalvageable is that a word tell me in the comments <laughs> oh my god i cannot salvage it anymore okay so 
Um, I think this one, I'll show you a close up of the other one. This one is like the craziest, craziest cracks. Hope you can see that properly. Oh God. Yeah. So, yeah. No, look, I'm almost tempted to just peel it off, scrape everything when everything's perfectly, perfectly dry, maybe uh, two weeks or three weeks, and then I'll see if I can reuse the canvas. But, you know, there's nothing else I can do on this. Ugh. Don't do what I do. Um, and yeah so i yesterday i did another piece with a different uh thinning process i used the same white paint i used the spring paint but i used this mixture i hope you can see that i used this mixture which is 10% um, GAC 800 and this is GAC 800, it's golden GAC 800 and it, it, uh, it helps with the crazing, right? So that's a good guy there. And then I mixed it with... 70% uh, Floetrol, this is an Australian Floetrol, and then uh, last one is the Gloss Medium, um, this is Gloss Medium and Varnish, it was, I think it was uh, renamed to Gloss Medium, but this is the varnish that I use from Liquitex, right, so that's 30%, oh no, so that's 20%. So 10% GAC, 20% of this one, and 70% of Floetrol. So I'll see, I'll see if that that dries properly. Um, it's still in the drying process as of this moment. And if it's successful, then I'll post a video of it. Yeah. Oh, if if I could think of something else to do with these ones, I will definitely post a video of it for <laughs> uh, learning and I guess troubleshooting. I don't know. I don't know. This is. I'm so sorry to to tell you that this is already hopeless. It will not even pass for for my sake. <laughs> but yeah. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Bye.